Okay, almost all the boxes are unpacked. But I still need to do a few chores. The way things have been, I'll never get around to it during the week. Weird, why am I excited about having time to clean? Times change, I guess. Alrighty, friends, welcome back. I know we just heard that at the beginning, or sorry, at the ending of the last episode. Uh, but I hope that you're all having an amazing, amazing day. We are playing some more Fall of Porcupine today. Uh, last night we did our first proper night shift at the hospital and we actually ventured up into the fifth floor or the fifth floor ward uh, and we heard a little bit more about Finley's accident but today we're gonna do some chores around the house I guess oh you don't look so good maybe you just need a nice long drink wait here I'll take care of it all right let me see here do you need a drink the tap doesn't work. It was like that when I moved in. I made a call and they told me the downspout was clogged. My landlady promised me she'd take care of it. She just didn't say when. Oh well, I'll just take a cup with me. I better get the water from the bathroom. I don't want that goo coming up out of the drain again. And a classy drink requires a classy receptacle. There we go. Time to prepare my patented super plant cocktail. The ingredients are water. Yeah, that's it. Alrighty, it looks like we got our water for our little plant friend. Here you go, buddy. One Finley special super mega plant cocktail coming right up. Fresh from the tap. Bon appetit. Uh, just make sure you get a taxi home, okay? There we go. Oh, hello? Good morning, sunshine. Are you ready for our super awesome day out? Sure am, I've just finished up my chores. Chores? I thought it was your day off today. It is, but I'll never find time otherwise. Are you remembering to water the plants? Yep, just took care of that. Promise? Yes. You better not be lying to me. I can sense when my plants are dehydrated. I'm still holding the glass in my hand. You use a glass to water your plant? Sure, what's wrong with that? My plants get only the best water from the finest vessels. My watering can costs as much as my car. You don't think you're maybe exaggerating a bit? Maybe. But it was really, really expensive. Anyway. I'm all packed and ready to go. Why don't you come over to my store, then we'll head out. What are we going to be doing? I'll tell you when we get there. Just tell me. I can't hear you. Come on. I think the recept. No, signal. Alrighty. There we go. Are you sure we didn't have any other chores to do other than just watering a plant? You made it sound like we had so much more going on. Hi. Hey, Sleepwell. Spare a few cents for me. I hold on a sec. Thank you, you're my number one customer, you know that? And I don't even know your name. I'm Finley. Alfio, pleased to meet you. Likewise. Goodness, Alfio, you're shivering from the cold. I lost my hat. A gust of wind snatched it away and off it flew. No idea where it is. I'll take a look, maybe I'll find it. You're a gem, Finley, thank you. I could be very, very much mistaken, but you are wearing a hat. Well, okay. Um, I'm just gonna take a quick little look-see around here. Maybe I can find a hat that is apparently not on his head, but is on his head. We won't worry too much about it. Um, don't know if I'm seeing anything. No, nope, not here at least, but who knows, maybe we'll find it on another screen. Okay, so to get to, I think it's Peanut's Flower Shop, uh, I have to go down here instead of going up. And nowhere is blocked off today. Good, of course, on my day off. <laughs> everything is open. The second I have to go to work, everything is closed down. 
Okay, we got an ice cream store. We got like appliances. Holy macaroni. Wow. What's wrong? You scared the living daylights out of me. Oh, I'm sorry about that. But you gave me a pretty good scare right back. I don't take this personally, but I gotta run. Oh, okay. Leader. Huh. I don't know that person. They just had the option to talk. Hi! What is this trash? What do you mean? You've got eyes, haven't you? Look at it. Father would have given me a beating for wearing something like that. You mean the clothes in the store window? Ah. Fair. Fair enough, sir. Okay, we got the stationary place, the hair cutting place. My outline. There you are, sleep well? Like a wet log. Wet? A water pipe burst during my night shift. Uh, Mother Nature will restore your strength. I can already hear her call. Let's go. Hey, you fasten your seatbelt. The smell of pine needles, fresh air, sunshine. Everything a person needs. True, but it also makes this person hungry. You don't have any snacks, do you? Maybe, and a little work, too. Over the weekend, in the woods? Of course, the woods don't take weekends, you know. And as a florist, the countryside is my office. I thought this was going to be a fun trip. It will be. You said you wanted to show me something. What is it? You'll see. Lived in Porcupine for close to a month now. The time has come. Time? For what? Pina? The weather forecast said there'd be thunderstorms today. Better hurry. You go on ahead, that's part of the tradition. But I don't even know where to go. There aren't that many paths and you're too slow. Uh, if you're too slow, sorry, I'll take the lead. Let's go. All right, onwards into mother nature. Maybe we'll find that man's hat. Probably not, though. Okay. This is a very, very steep hill, my goodness. Well, this is pretty. That's nice. We go into this bench. Oh, I cannot. Okay, never mind. Screw that bench. We cannot get on it. Finley, what's going on? What do you mean? I thought we wanted to speed things up a bit. Are we not? Not enough. Don't fall asleep, sleepyhead. I'm on my way. This is exactly how you get lost. Oh, nope, never mind. I still see her. We're good. We're good. A fast little pigeon. Um. Okay, Pina, this isn't funny anymore. Yeah, yeah, great joke. You can come out now. What's going on here? What are these creepy figurines? Pina? Pina, where are you? What the? Hello? I'm warning you. I'm not alone. And I've got a knife. Pina, there you are. Too bad I don't have a mirror with me. I should see your face. That wasn't funny. My heart almost leapt out of my chest. As a medical professional, you should know that's very unlikely. Unlikely, yes. Never happened before? I wouldn't be so sure. Where did you go? I was only a few feet behind you, then suddenly you were gone. 
thought you'd never get out of, or I'd never get out of here alive. Come on, Finyo, don't be so dramatic. I found a plant and had to dive into the shrubbery for a moment. Yeah, all right. Did you pick it? The plant? No way. I just marveled at it. There was hardly any rain this summer. Even today, it's still surprisingly warm. You don't have to be a genius to see that. You just have to look at the plants. All right, but next time, let me know if you're going to run off, okay? I promise. Seriously, though. What are these creepy figurines? Don't tell me you put them up just to scare me. I wish. If I had the time to make things like this just to scare you, I would have a lot of spare time. And believe me, I would use it to scare you. You're not far wrong, though. What do you mean? Well, the figurines... I did actually make them. Some of them, at least. Are you serious? What for? These are memorial figurines. This is what I wanted to show you. I figure you hadn't heard about them yet. As a matter of fact, I hadn't. Why are they here? Porcupine is an old town. Several centuries old, in fact. And whenever someone dies in Porcupine, we place a memorial figurine for them here. That way, people can come to the woods to visit those who have passed. It's quiet here, peaceful. This is where people come when they miss their loved ones. I see. I'm the only florist in Porcupine. I'm good with all plants. And I'm not bad with my hands, either. I've taken on a few jobs around town, but this is the one I like the most. It's actually quite sad, in a way. Don't you find it depressing? Yes, I do. It's a small town, and I often know the people who have died. Sometimes I can see it coming, that I'm going to be making a memorial figure for someone soon. Sometimes the order comes as a complete surprise. One day I bump into an old lady at the bakery next door. She's friendly, in a good mood, hot cappuccino in her hand. The next day, she's a wooden memorial figurine on my counter. But I love the job all the same. I get to create a memorial for someone uh, people cared about. And the family are grateful to have a place to visit. Very proud of that. I had no idea. It's a really important job. A hard one, too. I guess. But enough of my rambling. Now you know why we're here. Why I want to bring you with me. Now you really are a part of Porcupine. I see. So what now? Is there anything I need to do? Are you gonna make me a figurine like that too? Of course not. Don't be disrespectful, Fino. The backpack's full of branches, yarn, and flowers. You know, I don't just make the figurines. I also come here regularly and take care of them. Today, you have the great honor of helping me. You want me to repair these figurines? I'm no good with my hands. You're kidding, right? You spend all day snipping and cutting away at your patients. I'm in internal medicine. You've never seen my wound dressing skills, have you? Internal schminternal. I'm sure you'll do a great job. Besides, who's gonna complain? Unlike the people in your ward, these ones are dead already. Now who's being disrespectful? These are figurines all over- or there are figurines all over the woods. The town's been around for a while, like I said. I'll give you some branches to fix up the figurines with. So, how do I find the broken figurines? Oh, good question. There's no set rules and instructions for that. The glow milk woods dance to their own tune. Just keep your eyes and ears open. You'll find the figurines all right. We will meet up again once you're done. You're not going to help? Of course I am. I'm going to search for them as well. But I haven't been here for a while, so there's probably a lot to do. If we don't split up, we'll never get finished today. And it does feel like it's going to rain, too. Come on, it'll be fun. Good luck, fellow figurine finder. Why does she always have to run off? Alrighty, this is a very interesting section. I can't even imagine, though, if you were not a resident of Porcupine, you didn't know about this, but you happened to stumble into these woods. How creepy that would be, you know? What is this all about? 
Oh. I can't, like, stay up on it? There we go. I think I wasn't meant to be sliding off there. platforming section here. Oh god. Downside is that I'm not very good at platforming. <laughs> Gotten better over the years, but not perfect. Okay. Oh, are you broken? There you go. I don't think I've passed by any others that need anything yet. go down to see if there's anything but I also feel like that might be death <laughs> you don't need anything good oh. okay nothing here do you need something yes you do there we go okay I think that might actually be the end of our road here so maybe I will go back and try to jump down and see if there's anything down there. Oh, if I can get back. Oh, no, here we go. Just take the road back. Oh, wait, that's so confusing. That wasn't the last scene, was it? That's weird. Oh no, it- wait. It was? Huh. Weird. Could be wrong as well here. But I feel like Finley has like a little- you hold down X or jump. He has a little almost like glide mechanic to him. Go. Okay, fall down. One more, one more. Mm, this might be him. Here we go. All right, that's everyone. Oh god. <laughs> Just fell down pretty much every single one again. It's no biggie. Okay. Now where are we going? Because I definitely didn't climb across those in the first place. Or did I just jump down? I don't think I did. I get the impression we might be a little lost. <laughs> oh, there she is. That's kind of a cool segment. And then he got a full bucket of paint on his head. Luckily he wasn't hurt, but it looks so funny. But Tina? Yikes. Oh, Finley, not bad. Made me jump a little there. Sorry, I didn't mean to. It's okay. Were you just talking to someone? Yeah, that's true. I'm here sometimes too. This one right here, that's my brother's figure. I was just telling my brother about the paint bucket thing. I didn't know you had a brother. How could you? I've never told you before. Actually, he's my twin brother. I'm sorry. It's okay, it's been a few years. We always got into the best scraps together. Or scrapes. Looked out for each other. Plant store was his idea too. Then one day he was diagnosed with leukemia. By the time we found out it was already too late. He spent some time at St. Ursula's. I don't know what to say. It was for the best. And it was over quickly in the end. 
wasn't easy for him, but eventually he was able to let go. I made his figurine too, of course. That must have been hard. The hardest one I've ever made. But the most beautiful too. Thank you for telling me about this. I'm sure I'd have liked him too. I know you would. You can come here with me again sometime if you'd like. Then you can have a chat with him. Now we need to go. I told you it was gonna rain. Alright, I'm getting pretty hungry too. Take care of yourself, folks. Check back with you soon, alright? No fighting now, I love you. Please come quickly, I need help. Pina? What? What's wrong? Finley, please come to the store quick, I... Pina? Pina, are you there? Oh no, I better go over there and check on her. Alrighty, that thunder is very, very loud, so I'm sorry if the section might sound a little muted. I'm gonna try to turn that down in editing because it's very loud. Uh, for me at the moment. You. Oh, that was weird. Oh, wait, did I skip a section? Am I crazy? Oh, that's not good. Oh, that's really not good. Uh oh. Why are there flowers here? Oh. What's going on here? Was that Pina? Hmm. Pina? Can't be. It just can't be. Oh. That's not good. Are we having a nightmare? Pina! Oh. Mia! Carl! Where are you? Why am I alone. I hope you're all okay. I have a f oh <laughs> Dr. Krosky, what are you doing here? I could ask you the same thing. What am I gonna do with you, Finley? If you carry on like this, I don't see a future for you. Carry on like oh if you carry on like this, I don't see a future for a lot of people. Are you taking care of it yet? Taking care of what? I can't keep repeating myself, and I can't keep holding your hand all this time. People are gonna die, Finley, and it will be all your fault, but... Go to work, your shift's about to begin. I'll hurry, and I will work hard. Chop chop. Yeah, I think the, uh... The figurines in the forest may have given us a little bit of a nightmare. Oh god. This isn't good. I hate this. Spooky. 
All right, one, two. Oh, this music. And three. Oh, oh God. What was that? What was that? Oh God, I'm going. Okay. Yep. Mm hmm. I'm gonna get away from whatever the heck that is. Going to the fifth floor. Said it time and time again. Nobody ever listens to old Gregor. But Gregor's the one who has to do it every time. What are you doing? There's no point, Gregor. Leave it. The whole place is about to fall apart. The pipes, the walls, the electrics. The pipes. The walls. The electrics. The elevator. The patients. There's nothing old Gregor can't fix. We can handle this. Gregor, stop. The patients. Leave it to me. Leave it to me. My plant go. Did you fall on the floor? Oh. There we go. We do not look rested in the slightest, do we? <laughs> Poor Finley had a bit of a rough night. Um, alrighty friends, I think this might be a good place for me to wrap up this episode. When we come back, I guess Finley's about to figure out what happened to the plant uh, Fina gave him. And we'll continue on with our story here. Thank you so much for watching, and have an amazing rest of your day.